Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, Mario. How are you? Hi, Natalie. Hi, Eric. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hi, Elmer. Good evening, my dear teacher. How, How are, are you? you? Fine, I'm Hi. fine. Hi. You have to turn on your camera, Elmer. Come on, don't cheat on me. Hi, Walter. Hi, Walter. Good evening, teacher. Walter, Thank what you. happened? I'm fine. Nice to see you. Well, I don't see you, but nice to have you in class. <laughs> Just All right. yesterday. Yeah, okay, vale, vale. All right, pero ya ves, se le extraña tanto que siento que desde hace como muchos días no lo ve. All right, very good. Hi, Diego. Hi, Alexia. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Hi Lizette. Hi, Diego. Hi. All right, Jose, you're there. All right, guys. Hi, it would be nice if you turn. Thank you, Diego. Camera on, Walter, your camera, Lizzie, Juan. Elmer, come on, guys, don't be shy. <laughs> anyway, so thank you, Juan. Nice, thank you. All right, so guys, okay. um, everybody okay? Yes? Super good? Yes, yeah. yes thank yeah. you. Did you have a nice day today? Yeah? Yes. yes. Excellent. We should not complain, guys. We're here and we're alive, okay? So we're, that's good. <laughs> That's, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's super good. So it's nice. Okay, guys. So today we're going to talk about 1.9 on the video. Hi, Rocio. All right. So I'm very, very happy because most of you have written a comment under the video. So I'm super good. I'm super happy. I'm super proud of you. So that's very good. I do want to say something. I'm going to show it to you right now, guys, so you understand. This is what we're going to be working on right now anyway. So you can see my screen, yes? Guys, can you yep. see my screen? Okay, so here at the bottom yeah. of it, where it says discussion, this is our discussion box. Most of you have like written something, okay? I can see Eric, uh, Eric wrote two, uh, twice. I can, sometimes if you don't write your name, it's a little bit difficult for me to know who you are. But even though I even like, I even like that way, I comment on everything. Uh, then I have um, Arturo and I have many, many people here. I have Natalie, Mario, right? So that's very good guys. I have like 15 comments, which is very nice. If you look at it here where it says, on, where it says one is because you like wrote your comment, but where it says two is because I already commented back. All right. So if you want to go see what I wrote, you can go back again and see it. All right. This one says six because there are like three people together. It's not that I wrote six comments on that single person, all right? So, uh, so if you notice, guys, I do take the time to see your comments and I try to write something back, okay? So if you okay. can do it, please do it because that's part of your learning process. And remember that every, every video has the discussion box, so you're more than welcome to participate on it. And believe me, I take the time to read it, okay? And oh, it's, yes. it's not a problem if, if we can um, answer the videos or we can talk in the videos, but at the end of the week, for example, if I okay. can't uh, write uh, right now, but I can do that uh, well, later. Friday or Saturday. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, you know and what? we have to... And we have to put our opinions in every videos. Or... I mean, that's the idea, Mario. It's really up to you. Uh, I would appreciate if you do it because that shows me that you're really interested on the process. It's your learning process anyhow. So the more you practice, the better it is. But I do understand, Mario, that sometimes we do it every single video. But I mean, sometimes it's something short, you know? I mean, it doesn't have to be a big story if you don't have the okay. time. But if you oh, have okay. the time to write it, I have the time to read it, okay? so. Make okay, sure, no I mean, understand that I do read it. If you like do it at the end of the week, it's okay. I'm always checking, okay? Okay, All right, nice, guys, thank very you. Very good, thank you. Okay, so this is what we're, we're gonna talk about today. We're talking about expressing regrets and hypothetical situations, okay? So I know that, I mean, at least 15 people or so already watched the video because you already commented, all right? So that's good. If you have not seen it, that's okay. We're gonna work on it right now, okay? So we have two things. One of them is a little bit shorter than the other one. So I'm going to begin with regrets right now. 
using in English, you can express regrets in many ways and in many forms. It's not only this one, all right? But again, this is the one that I want you to work on right now, okay? So expressing regrets according to this uh, platform or this video on the platform, another way to express regrets is when you use should have plus past participle. Of course, it may say should have as in positive, I should have gone, all right? Or I shouldn't have gone. If you regret going, you say, oh my goodness, I shouldn't have gone. All right, because that was not a good idea. Or someone tells you, you know what? The class is amazing, all right? Of course it is. So you say, man, I should have registered on the class, but I didn't. Now you're expressing a regret, okay? So you can express regrets using should have or shouldn't have if that's the case. All right, so here, guys, this is what we are going to be working with. You have should have. Last past participle. Guys, I, I have said this to you before, especially if you have been with me for a couple of months before this one. It's very, very important for you to learn the verbs, all the verbs, present, past participles. We use them a lot, okay? It's not just, oh, you know, just for this, in this situation. No, we use past participle quite a lot in English, okay? So you have to learn go, went, gone, fly, flew, flown, speak, spoke, spoken, all right? Para eso existen las tres columnas, no es solo para hacerle la vida imposible, all right? It's there for you to study it, okay? So here, again, when you express regrets, we use should have, I'm sorry, should have plus past participle of any verb. Remember that the past participle of the verbs, they exist for every single verb, okay? So, of course, we see the structure here. Can you see it? Yeah. We have subject plus should have or shouldn't have plus past participle. When you make a contraction, guys, you write should off, all right? Or, I mean, you contract it and then you write and the pronunciation becomes should have gone or like an off kind of pronunciation, okay? We use should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or did not happen. Remember that you're regretting something. When we regret something, it's because it didn't happen, okay? That's, a, that, that's why they're called regrets. So here, it's very simple. It's not a big deal. You just need to remember that you need to use should have or should have plus past participle and then tell me what you regret, okay? So let's try to use them to use this right now, like speaking about it. Let's see, Anna, Anita, can you tell me something? You can you can make it up, you can invent it if you want, but can you express a regret about something, Anna? And you say, I should have, or I shouldn't or I shouldn't have, and then you tell us what else you want to say. I I know, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Maybe Eric can begin and then Anna, you start thinking about it, okay? A ver, Eric, can you tell us a regret you have that you can share with us? Or if you don't regret anything, usted invéntese, okay? That's okay. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay. I, should, uh, I shouldn't have drank beer <laughs> yesterday. That's very no. good. You shouldn't have. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a no-no, all right? Yeah. It was Tuesday, <laughs> wait for Friday and Saturday, but not Tuesday. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's only an example, I know. All right, let's see. Yeah. Uh, Alexia, can you tell us something that you regret, Alexia? And if you don't regret anything, make it up, honey. I should have woke up uh, early today. I should have woken up. What? Right, the past participle of wake up, wake up, woke up, woken up. Very good. Thank you, Alexia. Nice. All right, let's see. Uh, Carlitos, Carlos Alberto. Hi. All right, Carlos, are you ready? Okay, are you ready to tell us something that you regret, Carlos, using this structure? Okay. I don't know what happened here right now. <laughs> okay, do you want me to ask someone else? 
while you yes. like, yeah, all right, okay. Alejandra, can you tell us? Yes, uh, let's see. I should have done the dishes uh -huh. last night. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it was not raining, Alejandra, now it's raining again in my house here. It was again. cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, very good. Rocio, I don't see you today, Rocio. What happened? I see your parakeets, but I don't see you. <laughs> Rocio. I, I am here, yes. Okay, very good. Rocio, can you tell us something that you regret? Uh, I should have learned English when I was younger. <laughs> you should have learned English when you were younger. You should have learned money. All right. Okay. You know. All right. Very good. Thank you. Jenny Portillo, can you tell us something that you regret using this structure? Subject plus should have or okay. shouldn't have plus past participle. Okay. I should have called you mm. sooner. You should have. Like saying, yeah, you should have or you shouldn't have. I should have. Yeah, you should have called. 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 All right, the pronunciation called. Right. Called you sooner. Excellent, nice, very good. A ver, let's see, Lizzie, can you tell us something, please, Lizzie? Lizzie, Lizzie, no, okay, well, yes. we wait. Okay, yes. thank hi, you. teacher. Hi, hi, Lizzie. I'm uh -huh. Sorry. Um, I should have ride bicycle when mm. I was a child. I should have ridden a bicycle, right? Because ride, ridden a bicycle. Ridden. very good, nice. Mario Cortez, can you tell us something that you regret? Uh, I should have uh, studied a master last, ah. last semester. Excellent, yeah, that's oh. a very good idea. Okay, very nice, yes. Okay, Natalie, what about you? Okay, uh, I should have been more active. And I will you be be them. <laughs> right, Okay, very good. Nice. All right, Elmer, can you tell us something that you regret? I should have gone to dinner with you last year. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, nice. Walter, can you tell <laughs> us? All right, let's see. Uh, Walter, are you ready now to one sentence? Okay, teacher. I should I should have work in in my project today. Ah, very good. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, that's a very good idea. All right, you should have. Very nice. All right, the last one. Let's see, David. Can you tell us another sentence of regret? And I should have visited another country before the COVID. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes. <laughs> All right, nice. Okay, very good. Okay, see so if you guys notice, no big deal. All right, I mean, you just need to remember the structure should have or shouldn't have if you want to say no to something. All right, that did not happen or that you did do it. All right, so pass okay. and then the pass participle. Do you have any questions regarding to this regret thing or you guys are okay so far? Question? Um. Eric uh, okay. or anybody, yeah? Okay. Okay, are you sure? No questions? Okay, very good. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna stop presenting the video that's on the platform, you already saw it anyway. So I'm gonna stop sharing this and I'm gonna start, I'm going to start sharing this uh, PPT I have for you. Now on the video guys, as I said, we were talking about two things, about regrets and about hypothetical situations. You understand right away when we say hypothetical situations is something that did not happen, all right? Okay, that you're thinking, oh my gosh, what if? And we were talking about that yesterday, remember Alejandra? All right, so here it's the beginning yep. of the third conditional. <laughs> and then later on the other courses, you'll keep on watching the third conditional because is one of the most complex ones to a structure, but it's not a big deal once you start using it. Okay? So if you have not seen it before, you're gonna see it. And if you have seen it before, like Eric, and he, has, he says that he loves conditionals, here you go, Eric, all right? So you're gonna enjoy this one, okay? So here we have the uh, hypothetical situations. This topic is also on the platform, but this one I, 
separated it because the regret one is a little bit easier. Okay, this one, it takes a little bit more like of explaining. But it, Ay, who's crying? Ya ve cómo se pusieron cuando oyeron third conditional. They started crying. Right? I, I think Elmer is crying for you. Elmer, are you crying? No, Elmer is not crying. No, no, difícilmente. <laughs> ella, ella sabe que no. <laughs> Why <is> Hi, Mercito. All right, very good. Okay, so let's get serious, Elmer. Okay, hypothetical situation. <laughs> As I said, it never happened. Okay, you're just imagining it happened, all right? But it never did because it's hypothetical situation. To express hypothetical situations, guys, we need to use the third conditional, all right? The third conditional is developed in this way, and I'm going to tell you how. Right, now, now. Here we have it. Again, when we finish the class, guys, I'm going to send this presentation to you. Ayer me porté bien, el Meri la mandé right away after the class. Ahí sí no me Sí, muchas gracias. La verdad es que desde que inició esta semana la, el nivel, a saber que ha visto que se está portando ¡Ah! súper bien con nosotros. Siempre me porto bien, el Meri. Si no, no me quisiera. Muchas tanto. gracias, muchas gracias. All right, All right. <laughs> Okay, entonces igual, when we finish this uh, class, we're going, I'm going to send the presentation. Y Mario solo se ríe, miren, no por él. No le haga caso a Elmer, Mario. All right, so we have here, for hypothetical situations. Very, very good flirt. <laughs> I know, eh? he's always like that. For hypothetical situations, we need clauses, all right, or two sentences, Okay. Cuando decimos clauses, it's like the fancy way of saying sentence, okay? So here, because we're in advanced, pre-advanced three, right, Eric? We say hypothetical situations, we use two clauses, okay? The if clause plus the main clause, okay? So one is going to tell you the, the, the why of the other one, okay? So here we, we say, it says here, each clause, pueden ver, verdad? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, okay. yep. Each clause is structured differently, but when, but when joined, they make a hypothetical situation. So I'm going to take you step by step, okay? The if clause first. How do we make the if clause, okay? Here we have the structure. Wow, look at that, guys. Isn't that cool? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here we have the structure. For the if clause, we're going to use if, past, Perfect, okay? Si usted está preguntando, Dios santo, ¿y cuál es el pasado perfecto? Ya lo vamos a ver. So, if plus past yeah. perfect, okay? <laughs> what happened, Eric? Uh, solved it? Yeah, no. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, I didn't Do. write it, but yeah, I omitted it because it's, it has to be there. Ah, ya lo voy a escribir. Bye. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, no. You... Okay, so we have the if plus past perfect, okay? Plus, and ahora, I'm just gonna stop right now. Here, this structure, guys, is to express the whole hypothetical situation, okay? So we need, as I said, we need two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. In the if clause, we're going to use if plus subject plus the past perfect, plus the main clause, which is a structure with subject, would, or could, or might, no, es, no son las tres en hilo, ¿verdad? Es una u otra. Subject <laughs> plus would, or could, or might, plus have, all right, for everybody. Ahí no cabe si es tercera persona, es have for everybody, all right, plus past participle. Y ese es todo como se estructura en sí. En otras palabras, this is the third conditional. Pero se lo voy a desglosar igual siempre. <clears throat> Excuse me. The if clause and the main clause. So we have, remember, in the if clause, if plus subject plus past perfect plus subject would, could, or might plus have plus past participle. Okay? Now, I'm going to take you here. And it says, to remind you, porque eso ya lo vieron, pero para que se recuerden, how do we make a past perfect, Jessica? Okay, so the past perfect, we have the subject, which is I, you, he, she, it, plus had for everybody because it's on the past. So I said Mario had, he had, mm. they had, she had, for everybody is going to be had, plus the past participle of the verb. Okay, so that's how we make the past perfect. You have seen this before. So you say, 
I, in this case, I had slept more, okay? So, okay, so I have the, the beginning of my sentence. Now, we add if. Si usted solo le deja, I had slept more, ahí está, it's a sentence, okay? Right, but now, because we need to use it in a hypothetical situation, we're going to add if. So we say, now we add if at the beginning. So we are left with the if clause. If I had slept more, y usted se queda pendiente porque yo voy a seguir diciéndole algo. Si yo me quedo callado, usted se queda como, ah, what are you talking about, Jessica, right? What happened? Right, so I said, if I had So the, this is how, guys, we make the if clause with the past perfect. O sea, this one that we have here, this right here. If plus past perfect is this one, the one that we're seeing right now. Subject plus had plus past participle, okay? Then we continue. Now we have the main clause. Subject plus would or could or might plus have plus past participle. I would, hold on, this is not right. No, no, yep. no. Thank you. No la vean. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good, guys, that you already yeah, no le meten gato por liebre. I would uh -huh. have. Yeah, thank you. thank you. I was doing the other class at the same time. I would have felt. I'll write it mm -hmm. better. I think that's the hold on. I had the other. I would have felt better, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, thank you. Sorry, guys. Okay, so here we have, I would have felt better. Felt is the past participle of feel, all right? Mm -hmm. So this is my main clause, okay? Here, I had my if clause. If you notice, guys, there is a comma there because I'm going to keep on talking, yeah? So I said, if I had slept more, I would have felt better. But I didn't sleep more, so I don't feel good. All right, I, I'm cranky, I'm in a bad mood. That's not true, all right? That's only an example, it's only a hypothetical situation, okay? So here, now let's join both sentences. If I had slept more, comma, I would have felt better. Did I feel better? Guys, did I feel okay? No. No, no did right I now, sleep more? more? I, right now I feel great, but did I, did I sleep a lot? No. 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 All right. Because it's a hypothetical situation. I probably slept two hours and now I'm in a very bad mood. All right. That's not true. I slept like 10 hours. No. So this is how we make it. That's not true, man. All right. So if I had slept more, coma, I would have felt better. In other words, guys, this is the third conditional. Okay. Si le queremos llamar tercer condicional o solo expresar como, como decimos una hypothetical situation, it's up to you. Pero al final, sepa que es el tercer condicional los que nos da las hypothetical situations. Y lo hacemos así. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. This is how we make them. All right. What I try to do is like separate no. the if clause and then separate the main clause. And after, I join them together. And as a result, I have this. Yeah, you guys understand? Now I, I understand it better. Excellent, Eric. Very good. Okay, questions. Yeah. Very good. Questions, guys. Do you have questions? No. No questions. Tengo como 20 en línea. Nobody has a question. <laughs> <gasps> wow. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. You are very clever. I know you guys are, of course. Okay, so here we have, again, this is para like remember, all right? If clause plus main clause, if I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. The explanation is I failed the exam because I didn't study hard enough. All right? So, al final, usted dejó el, el curso y dice, si hubiera hecho los ejercicios, ¿verdad? pero no le hice caso a Jessica. All right? So, now I'm stuck and I did not pass. All right, so now I, I, I regret it. I, this is a hypothetical situation if I would have, but I didn't, okay? Comma, this is a very important. If the clause, sorry, if the if clause comes first, a comma is usually used. 
If the if clause comes second, there is no need for a comma. Ojo. Can I, guys, can you see this again? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, hold on. Yes. Yeah, okay. I have, if I had slept more, I would have felt better. Which one comes first? If clause or the main clause? If. if clause. Okay, the if clause, right? Because it's the if, it's there, all right? Yeah. Now, can I switch it? Can I yes. have my yes. main clause yes. first and then my if clause? Yes, yes. or no? Yeah. I think you can do yes. it. Yes. Yeah. yes. Is it okay if I said I would have felt better if I had slept more? Does it make sense? Yes. 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 It does. It yes. makes perfect sense. But <laughs> if you switch it, if you place the main clause first and the if clause second, you don't need a comma anymore mm -hmm. because the yeah. if is the comma. All right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. You will only need the comma if you begin the if clause first. All right. If I had slept more comma, I would have felt better. But if I switch it, which is no problem, you can do that, right? I would have felt better had slept more, no comma, all right? And the meaning well, it, is the same, yes? Yeah, it's similar when we yes. use a subordination conjunction yeah. mm -hmm. at the beginning. Yeah. Excellent, wow, guys are very, you guys are super good students. All right, very good. Yeah, no problem, guys, we're okay? Are we okay, guys? Hello? Yeah, okay. I think so. Yes. Okay, all right, okay. We use different verbs for, for uh, sorry, we use different verb forms in each part of a third conditional. The if clause, if plus subject plus past perfect or the past thing. We can use would, you can use could, or you can use might, all right? So here we have it, and this is the same thing that we've been talking about. And then I'm gonna continue showing you this. I'm just gonna move us here. It says unreal. Now, when can we use when can we use the um, hypothetical situations or when can we use additional? We can use it for unreal or imaginary situations in the past. It's over. Ya no puede hacer nada about it. No aprendí inglés cuando estaba bebé. All right. Hoy está más bebé todavía, pero ya es otro bebé. All right. So here we have. So this is a imaginary situation. So you say here, if I had won the lottery, yo ni siquiera juego, so it's not gonna happen. I would have left my job, yeah? Yeah. Very yeah. good. Also, we can use the, this third conditional to express regret, okay? So you say, if I hadn't gone to bed so late last night, I would have woken up on time this morning. Similar a la que Alejandra, creo que fue la que dijo, o Alexia, no recuerdo. Ah, uh, no, Alexia fue. All right, so if I had gone to bed so late last night, if I hadn't gone to bed last night, I would have woken up on time this morning. So we're expressing regret. Quiere decir que no solo should have or shouldn't have to express regret. We can also use the third conditional to express regret, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Excellent. Yeah. To criticize somebody or something. Eso no lo anden haciendo, pero in case mm -hmm. you need to criticize people, you say, oh, all right, look or at that. Or salt. All right. Así cocina él, me dice. <laughs> <laughs> if, <laughs> if you hadn't used too much salt. Te voy a cocinar. Que vea. wouldn't have been so disgusting. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it was salty. Okay, so you can use the third conditional also to criticize, to uh, regret something, or to use it for unreal or imaginary situations. Yes? Okay? Yes. Excellent. Very good. All right, so here we go. We continue here. Oh, look at that. If Titanic missed the iceberg, it not sink. A ver, ¿quién hace un valiente? Hurry up. Mm. Tell me the sentence, guys. Mm. Anybody? Tick, 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 tick. My mistake. Mm. Hurry up. If Titanic. If, if, if the Titanic. A ver, dictemela. Titanic wouldn't. Titanic wouldn't. 
Aha, if Titanic. Whoops. If Titanic had missed the before the iceberg. Mm, a ver, ah, pues no, ¿qué pasó? Yeah. Uh, do you understand? Yes. Le doy un ejercicio a nobody. What happened? Um, <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm uh, thinking. If Titanic yeah. hadn't, hadn't missed the iceberg. Uh -huh. um, I think we'll pass the Titanic. If Titanic would have had it, it had it not sunk. sunk. <laughs> um, it wouldn't have uh, If the Titanic if the Titanic had... Oh my goodness guys, ¿qué pasó? What <laughs> if happened? The if the Titanic, Titanic had missed had missed? No. Yeah, I had missed. Had missed. Yeah. If the Titanic yes. the iceberg had the iceberg, aha. Uh -huh. it, it wouldn't Aha, uh -huh, it wouldn't have not sunk. It wouldn't have no sunk. Yes, very good. Yeah, very good. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, what happened? Yeah, okay. So if Titanic had missed the iceberg, it would not have sunk. Yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, sunk is yeah. the past participle. Yeah? The past participle. All right. Uh, yes. Okay. 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 Yeah, putting it in pass. Very good. Can you take a <laughs> can you take a picture of this, guys, please? I'm just gonna move us here. Can you take a picture of this? Ready. Ready? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna send you to your groups right now. Work on these five. I'm gonna give you like five minutes y regresamos con otro ejercicio, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Oh my goodness. 18. Cada vez vamos menos. ¿Qué pasó? Éramos 20. All right. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Walter.
wouldn't. Wouldn't. You wouldn't. Wouldn't have. Wouldn't have <laughs> crashed. Wouldn't have crashed. Guys, his car. His car. Uh, con con ed con con ed crashed. Crashed. My dear teacher. Hello. Hello. Yes. Could you re could you re re uh, re revisar? How do you say revisar? Check. Ah, uh, check the first one. If he had not fallen asleep while driving, he would have crashed crash his car. Espérenme que estoy escribiéndole aquí a Normita. Ajá, dígame, perdóname. No. Had not fallen asleep would... Wow. Enséñeme la, enséñeme la uno. Why, why, uh... While driving. Why, why, uh... While driving, he wouldn't have crashed. Excellent. Yes, Elmer, that's very good. Nice. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. We could, we could. Selena. Hi, teacher. I am sorry, que no la vi cuando entró. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> like, I... <laughs> entré tarde. Yeah, yeah. Yo pensé, quizá no entró ahora y por eso escribí, ¿verdad? Sorry. No, como no, no, <laughs> no <laughs> problema. <laughs> entré justo a tiempo cuando asignó los grupos. Ah, y ok. Super bien. Mm -hmm. Ok, very Thank good. You. Ok, you're very welcome. All right, Eric, everything okay? Yeah, everything is okay. All right, you're finished already. <gasps> wow. Oh, number two. <laughs> number three. All right, that's okay. That's okay. I'm kidding. Yep. All right, thank okay. you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Why he? Why driving? Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Walter. Everything okay? Uh, yes. Hello, <laughs> uh, if he had felt felt asleep, had Lizzie and uh, Walter had? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, because remember, it's the uh, past past um the past perfect. perfect. No? Past perfect. Okay. If, if he had left us. If he had felt asleep, ah, but if he hadn't, Lizzie and Walter, because of the uh, result of what happened. Yeah? If he, had, if he hadn't felt asleep while driving, he could crash his car. If he had not felt asleep, 
fell asleep while driving he wouldn't have crashed his car or the car he if he if hadn't had no uh -huh. hadn't si él no had se not. dormido exacto if he hadn't felt solo que felt es sentir fell el otro f e l l or f a l I sleep while driving. He would crash his heart. His he heart. wouldn't. He wouldn't have. ¿Verdad? Si él no se hubiera dormido mientras manejaba, él no hubiera chocado. chocado. Ajá, exacto. Mm. Yeah, you understand, guys? Mm. He wouldn't have crashed his car. He wouldn't have uh -huh. crashed ED, right? Crashed. In pasado. El pasado Uh -huh. ¿Qué le pasó a Walter? Se fue. Se fue Walter. <laughs> maybe a saber qué le pasó. Yeah, I think he's having, maybe he's having problem with his internet connection. Maybe. He, he told me that, ah, que cerca donde él fue afectado por la lluvia. Ah, en serio. Uh -huh. Puede ser sí, que por eso. eso. Okay. All right. No tenga buen internet. Yeah, okay, yeah. Bueno, Lizzie, you continue, okay? De todas maneras, vamos a regresar y la vamos a revisar, okay? Sí. Thank you, Thank you. Bye. 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 Hello. Hi. Ale and Natalie. Are you finished, girls? Hello. Yes. yes. Of course, you're the best. Let's see, what do you have for number one? <laughs> Is, you want? Uh -huh. Okay, you go. No, no, you, you can't go. Right. <laughs> no, you go, no, you go. Yeah, no, <laughs> we never go. Going to end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if we, um, if we, pardon, if he, he mm -hmm, if he hadn't fallen asleep while driving, uh -huh. he wouldn't have uh crushed that's right his car. his car right very good okay number two uh -huh. uh, if we have had um enough money enough money we could have uh, we could have got gone Gone, gone to the concert. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, have lost my job if I if I hadn't been late for okay. work. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so in that case, for number three, the main clause is first, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the other one, number four? The four is uh, if the wind, if the wind hadn't be so hadn't been so uh -huh, strong, excellent. yes, uh, the bridge wouldn't have collapsed. Collapsed. All right. Very good. Nice. Nice. Okay. And the last one. I. I would have called sally if i if i hadn't lost oh her okay number. okay sure makes sense okay very <laughs> good yeah if i hadn't lost her number very good okay great girls very good um i'm gonna show you this i'm gonna start sharing my screen 
we are not going to probably finish this, but you can work on it while you guys wait. Um, just give me a second here. This is again third conditional. All right. So can you take a picture right now so you can like advance on it with Natalie Alejandra, please? All right. Okay. It's the same thing, third conditional, yeah, I'm, right? I'm second. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think you're gonna need two Got pictures it. because we have I think there are 12 sentences. All right. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So that way you have like enough practice. Okay. Then Yes. Thank you. All right. You may start working yes. with this one now. Okay. Thank you, girls. Good job. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh, Anna. Hi, Ram. Uh, hi, Jose. Collapsed. Hi. Collapsed. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Nos estamos dando duro, teacher. What happened, Anita? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 es que, es que está algo difícil. Yeah. Yo me confundo. Es que el, en, el, en la primera, o sea, en la, en la oración hay una sí. en donde va con have y otra con had, ¿verdad? Right, yes, ajá. Ajá, ajá. Solo allí creo que podría ayudarle, Ana, que siempre que va el if, va con el had. Ah. Okay. Siempre va, okay. después del if va el have. En Ajá. la más larga es donde va el have, porque va acompañado de un modal verb, ya sea would, could, or might. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces, y digamos en este caso, teacher, del, del, del bridge, del puente, uh -huh. sería con has. If o, the wind si had been, the wind would, um, if the wind hadn't been, ¿verdad? Porque si el viento no hubiese sido tan fuerte, it would be negative, uh -huh. Jose and Anna. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. If the wind had not had been, uh -huh, or had, had not been, been uh -huh. Uh -huh. had not been so strong, the yeah. bridge couldn't has couldn't, or, or, couldn't have the bridge couldn't have. Ah, uh, okay. Ahí siempre va have. Ahí Exacto. No. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y va, Anna, trate de recordar la regla que cuando va un modal el verbo, uh -huh. el siguiente verbo no va conjugado de ninguna forma. Entonces queda. Ah, uh -huh. Ok, uh -huh. ok. Uh -huh. Mientras que en el otro, con el if, siempre vamos a trabajar con have, porque según la regla nos indica, es el pasado perfecto. Y el pasado perfecto para todos es had. Entonces no podría. Uh -huh. Como es pasado, ¿verdad? Exacto, uh -huh. como es pasado. Exacto. Y el pasado uh -huh. perfecto. Lo que veríamos en la presentación, ¿verdad? Se forma con el, 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 el pasado participio, que sería had más el verbo en pasado participio. Had gone, had left, had loved, had written, ¿ya? Yeah. Uh, ok. Eh, teacher, mire, y este, eh, eran tres, eh, como dónde se aplicaba, era eh, criticize, eh, situación de uh -huh. imagen, Imagine another. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. It was regret. También es de regret. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Usted dice, si yo hubiese estudiado, hubiera pasado el curso. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Cosa Hipotético, que no aplica ¿verdad? para ustedes dos. <risa> okay. eh, pues, hemos sí. hecho bien esas las primeras, teacher. A ver, no, la, primeras, ahorita, lo, ahorita lo reviso, sí. Anita, y ahorita no está yendo igual al trabajo, Ana, o cómo no. No, ya no, fíjese, ah. ahora sí, sí ya nos, nos quedamos acá. En la este, casa. Sí, ya pues lo que decidió la compañía que nos iba a ir indemnizando, eh, mm. digamos un mes por, por, por año, ¿verdad? Gracias okay. a Dios que ya tengo varios años de trabajar ahí porque <risa> si no estaría batida. Bueno. Si hay otros compañeros que acaban de entrar, Ay, pero no. dijo él que, ajá, dijo él que les, les iba a adelantar, digamos, ¿verdad? Mm, Como sí. Para que tengan algo al menos este mes. Sí. Pero si seguimos encerrados en julio, sí, ya va a ser difícil. Sí, ya va, a ser difícil. va a tener que empezar a quitar gente, pues, ajá. ni modo, ¿verdad? Pues sí, ya. Yeah. All right. Así es que a ver qué Estamos dice? fregados. Sí, pues Ay, sí. Claro. sí. ¿Y usted, José, sí. igual está desde casa trabajando, José? No, digamos, a mí me ha suspendido el contrato, un bono me están dando, digamos. Ok. Uh -huh. sí. Para ayudarle. Sí, sí, ok. Uh -huh. 
Está. Ay, no, sí está bien difícil. Ah, sí, está fregado. <risa> bueno, sí. re reviso rapidito. If he had not fallen asleep while driving, he would not have crashed his car. Very good. Number one is really good. All right. And number two, if he had had, if we had had enough money, we could have, we could have gone to the concert. Very good. All right. Esa dos es como, como complicada porque lleva el had had, ¿verdad? Pero está perfecta. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Sí, yo no, no, no le había entendido, pero Ajá. él me explico. Excellent. I would not have lost my job if I had been not late for work yet. If the wind had not been so strong, the bridge could not. Excellent, guys. Very good. Good job. Nice, Jose. Nice, Ana. Very good. Okay, Super good. Thank, thank, you, thank you. All right. Voy a ir porque me, eh, David me estaba hablando por ahí. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Hi, Jose. Hi, David. Hi, I'm sorry. I was with another group. Yes, tell me. Finish? Hey, uh, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you want me to check? Yeah, please. Okay, let's see. If he had... Uh, number one, if he had not, it has to be negative. Si él no se hubiese dormido. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Had not uh, gotten or falling asleep or gotten asleep. If he had not got asleep, it's okay. While driving, he, he would not have crashed. The past participle of crash, guys. Crash, yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number two, uh -huh. if we had saved enough money, we would have gone to the concert. Perfect. If I had not lost my job, I'm sorry, I had not. Mm, I would have not, right? I would have. Oh. Well, this is the main clause, it's hasta el, hasta el principio. I would have. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. I would have. I would uh, have. Have. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Not lost my job yeah. if yeah. I had not. If I had not woken up late for work. The past participle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Woken. Woken. Mm -hmm. With an. Walk. That's right. With walking. an at the end. Yes. At the end. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. If the wind would have not, if the wind would, uh, if the wind had, I, I, uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I, I think is if the wind has been not so strong, That's right? The if, bridge mm -hmm. would have not collapsed. Excellent. If the wind, if the wind had not been so strong. So if the wood no uh, doesn't go there, uh-huh. If the wind if, had if not, the wind not been. Had, hadn't, uh -huh, had not been so strong, very good, the uh -huh. bridge wouldn't have had collapsed or wouldn't have collapsed, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Then eh? <laughs> I I could have called Sally if I had not if I had not like, excellent. Yeah, very good. Nice. Okay. Good job. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Thank teacher. You. Thank you. We're going to go back to the main group right now, okay? I can't All right, guys. Hear you. I know. Oh, yeah. I'm here. I'm oh. Okay. So, guys, did, were you able to finish the five sentences? Yeah? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Were they a little bit complicated? Were they easy? Were they difficult? Were they okay? Who were they? Um, so, so. 50-50. 50-50. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, guys. Yeah, 50-50. Third conditional, that's why we don't see it on the previous courses, because it's a little bit more complex, because you need to remember the structure. I was telling Ana as well as Jose Ramos a key or a clue to remember the structure is whenever you have the if clause right after it you need the had because it's the past perfect. So if goes with had and the would have goes on the longer clause or on the, on the main sentence okay because remember that after um, a verb like um, how do you call it? Oh, guys, what's what? 
<laughs> no, boy couldn't and Main. know that. Main sentence, no. Yeah, but whenever you have the would, could, or, or might, you need to use might. have right after, right? Yes. The modal verbs, oh my goodness. Modal. Uh, modal verb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, so in that sense, you need the have because whenever you have have, always, I, love. I am in love yeah. of life. All right? I see this thing. So, Elmer. So you have the would and then be, that after the would you need to use the have, okay? You cannot have anything else, okay? Como, como les cuesta un poquito, ¿quieren tarea o lo hacemos mañana en clase? Deje la tarea, pero lo resolvemos mañana. Pero lo resolvemos mañana. Okay, está perfecto. Deje la tarea. Les voy a enseñar la tarea, ya se la... And I show it, I show it I show to it, Alejandra it. and Natalie. All right, this is it. Pero sabe que si se lo mando, me van a hacer trampa porque ahí están las respuestas. Entonces, no. So take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> take a picture right now, guys. This is third conditional. Le van a salir dos fotos, pero la hacen de verdad. That is All right. So this is going to be your homework. Casi nunca les dejo homework, pero hoy, hoy tenía ganas. So, this is the one, and this is number two, porque son doce. Okay. Okay? Did you guys get it? Everybody yeah. got it? Yes? Yes. yes. So, yes. number yeah. one is this Just one. Just a picture, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so try, okay. Please try to do it, guys. It's for your own good anyway. All right, so practice, practice, practice. Third condition is about practicing. Remember that the, sometimes the if clause is at the beginning, sometimes it's at the end. If it's at the beginning, you would need a comma. If it's at the end, you don't need a comma. All right, so the if goes with had, and the main clause you use have because you're using a modal verb, either would, could, or might, okay? So guys, anyway, tomorrow we'll keep on practicing this because we're going to check the exercise as soon as we get into the class. And then I'm going to give you another exercise just for you to feel more comfortable with it, okay? The idea is okay. for you to practice. Thank you so much, guys, for being in class tonight with me. I'll see you all tomorrow, okay? Bye, guys. Bye. Have, Bye. A nice Bye. Have a nice night. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye